Hey gents, today we're gonna to take a look at recrafting Allen Edmonds shoes. This is part of a whole Allen Edmonds series I got to do when I went up to their factory and checked it out in Port Washington. So I'll link below to video series on sh their shoe tree factory, on an entire overview in a, in a specific factory tour for the rest of the process. But first, I also took Carl Morawski with me to shoot the video and they recrafted one of his boots that you have seen on his channel many times. So first we'll check in with Carl, he'll let you know about the boots and then I'll walk you through the recrafting process. So take it away, Carl. Hey John, thanks. So these boots were actually really important to me. They were one of the first pairs of footwear that I spent a lot of money on. I wore them all the time in, in, in any situation. They're, they're very versatile, so I was able to wear them to school when I was going to school, to work casually. They were my go-to boot. So of course they got a lot of wear and I eventually started to wear through the sole. Now I didn't actually wear through to the uh, cork or anything like that, but it got thin, it got soft. They definitely needed just, just a resoling and just kind of a recrafting in general. So it was really cool to see these go through the process, which we're gonna take a look at right now. Once you send your shoes into Allen Edmonds, the recrafting starts with the last. They'll use the original last that the shoe was built on, which helps make the shoe come out nearly new. Oh, perfect. So the first thing we gotta do, we gotta relast them, right? Once it's relasted, it's ready for the full 38 step process. Ready? Yeah. They remove the heel block and the entire sole. This is where a 360 degree welt is important versus other Goodyear welted shoes, which use a 270 degree welt. It makes for a cleaner removal all around of the sole. Next, they take out that cork that was molded to your foot over time and the original stitching. They attach a new welt to the existing rib that becomes the basis for the rest of the process. They add a wooden shank back into the shoe. If you remember my History of Allen Emmons video, one of their big innovations was removing the traditional metal shank which made their shoes more comfortable and less stiff than those at the time. The next step is to bring the hot cork in, which is what gives their shoes a custom feeling fit over time. The shoe is now ready for a new sole. This is where Carl's went to a different track, but you can see the process of creating the channel for the stitching on the leather sole, and then the final stitching of the shoe before the heel block is added on. After that, they clean up the edges with a trim, they finish off the bottom, and then send them over for some fresh polish, finishing, new laces, and then it's packed up and sent back to you. As you're going through the recrafting process, you can choose to change the sole of your shoe. In this case, Carl went with a green day-night sole instead of the leather, and depending on the recrafting package you choose, you can also get shoe trees included as well. Carl's boots came out beautifully. They still have that patina that he developed over years of wearing the boots, but they're ready to give him another decade of wear and memories with that new sole. And just as a summary of the process, here's a clip of my sit down with Jim Cass, the senior vice president of production, talking about the recrafting process. And so essentially, we're reusing the valuable opera to the top of the shoe. Customers put the thing, come accustomed to it. And then we sew a new sole onto the bottom, completely rebuild the bottom of the shoe. It's a really big advantage of a welted shoe over all other types of shoe construction, which essentially. You know, basically other types of shoe constructions, the goal is to keep that sole on forever. You never want it to come off, so you use really strong adhesives. And when, you're, when you've worn through the bottom of that sole, you know, the shoe really has to get thrown in the garbage. Ours are, you know, basically reusable for generations if you rotate your shoes, and that's a really big advantage of the Goodyear Well. So there you have it, gents. That is the recrafting of an Allen Edmonds shoe. It was really cool to see behind the scenes, and I hope that you were able to learn something from this, or at least see that it's not just a click of a button and then you know a box shipped and then returned, but all of the human effort that goes into these sort of things. And so if you wanna check that out, there's links on their website. If you have Allen Edmonds shoes, you can send those in for sure. And for me, what this really helped to illustrate is that the craft and the care that goes into like an Allen Edmonds shoe versus an another brand uh, is really just that much more. So if you have any questions, I'll be down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to chat with you over there. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Thank you.